God damn it! Hey guys, welcome back to Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. Our current quest is to find Dumbledore, wherever he may be. And if you remember from last time, Hermione ran towards the castle, and Ron ran somewhere off in the field that direction. I don't know where he hopes to find Dumbledore. I'm gonna see if I can uh, get the answer out of Hagrid. I think it's worth checking in on him. I mean, he was the one who told us that stuff earlier, but maybe he has the... Oh, he's not even home. Look at that. Wow. Friend... Oh! He didn't have what I wanted, but uh, he sure had that. Alright. So... Here we are at the end of <clears throat> Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Snow, and I think I might be picking up a cold. Just a little summer cold, you know? Not a big deal. Would certainly explain why I'm so hot these days, you know, other than the fact that it's summer, and summer's pretty hot. <laughs> but as we're uh, drawing Harry Potter month to a close... All the way on urgent business. Hmm. Well, uh, yeah, as we close off on Harry Potter month, just like to say thank you to everybody who uh, stuck by and watched it. Or even if you were just here for a few episodes, it's you know nice to know that there are people who are willing to check it out. So it's pretty cool, actually. At least I think so. I think it's pretty cool that there are people out there from all over the world who are willing to watch some idiot play Game Boy games from his childhood and be like, yeah, this is cool. I'm going to watch that. I think that's cool. I think that's neat. That's an opportunity that would not have existed, you know, 40 years ago. Or shoot, even 20 years ago. Hey, there's McGonagall. Maybe she knows. Got an urgent summons. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> no one could possibly steal the stone. Hmm. You sure have a lot of confidence in that, Professor McGonagall. Well, now what? Okay, I guess we're returned to Gryffindor. Cool. <laughs> Why do you know about the Sorcerer's Stone? Because I know, Professor. Hmm. Well, you're in trouble. Alright, guess I'm going back to the house. See ya! I forget, do we go in the Griffin's butt? I think that's what we do. And that spits us out here. And this is what, the fifth floor? Okay. And I think we go up. Oh no, that's a downward. Okay. Oh no, that's not where I wanted to go. You know, you think I'd get used to all the shortcuts and stuff in this game? I'm still not. Well, I'm thinking about it, though. Let's go ahead and get those uh, card combinations. And I never found Unicorn Horn. I swear, in my last playthrough of this, I had a ton of Unicorn Horn. I made so many Wigginwell potions, but since this is about to be the end, I should go ahead and uh, stock up on healing items. What do you think? Oh, well, they won't even... Fine, alright. Oh, well, this is all just candy, huh? Oh, look at all the money, though. Alright, um... Yeah, I think I'm gonna need some of those. Definitely gonna need a lot of these. Um... I have 15 sickles left, lol. Alright, um, uh, can I sell old stuff to you? Yes, I can. But not much, apparently. Hmm. Interesting, okay. Let's check out our uh, potion ingredients. I'm curious what kind of potions I can make. Wicked well, Grand Wicked Well. Pepper up. Grand Pepper up. I wonder what Vitamax does. I think that's like a f uh, full restore. Wormwood, Alpha Shelter, Root, Monk Shed, Copper. Oh, I think I can make that. 
Wormwood, which is this one. Off a shell debris, which is that one. And what was the other ingredient I said? Wolfsbane? No, Wormwood, As Asphodel Root, and Monk Should. Wormwood, Asphodel Root, Monk Should. So that. Hold on, I need to change the channel so I can see the full screen. Because like I said before, my TV cuts off the top for some reason. I don't know why. It just does. <laughs> and what was the other one I needed? Um, monk should. Okay, so this one, this one, and that one in the copper cauldron. Okay, let's do it. Oh, whoops, I pushed B. <laughs> Don't you hate it when you're trying to push A, but push B? Alright, we need one of these, one of these, and one of these. Nice. Alright, let's see what that does. Oh, once again went too far. Oh, it doesn't give you a description? Seriously? Hmm. Okay, that's interesting. I can make a few more of them, but should I save my ingredients? Hmm. Let's look at what else I can make. Antidote. Okay, yeah, so I guess I should just make a few of those. Let's do it. Uh, I don't know what it does, but I guess we'll find out, huh? <laughs> now, I don't encourage reckless potion making regularly, but... I think in this situation it can be forgiven. And it's good to know you can put it in in any order and it does not matter. Alright, so we got three of these Vitamax potions, which I think are full restores. I'm not positive about that, but I think that's what they are. I hope that's what they are. <laughs> right, let's go upstairs and see what's up. Speaking of what's up, Henry has come to visit while I'm making this last episode. So Henry, what have you thought of Harry Potter Month? Or are you just jamming out to chip tunes? That is definitely sand in an hourglass. Right? There's some really good sprite art in this. There is. Like, some of the effects are really impressive for Game Boy. Time to put on the cloak. Oh, who's that? Trevor. Book Trevor. I mean, yeah, you're absolutely right, though, Hunter. He looks like he's like a colonist or something in one of those puffy collars. All of them kind of look like they're depressed. But Neville especially. Just look at his face. <sighs> that one just looks like he has to poop. Oh, she casts a spell on him. Boop. Some good sprite animation there. Alright, so now we need to go to, what was it, the third floor corridor? Is that right? I think so. Either way, let's save the game. Just Your so game has it. been saved. I'm pretty sure it's the third floor corridor. Which Hermione just faced through the stairs. That's cool. She just did it again. Hermione is magic. Well, I mean, we're all magic here. I also made a few potions in my cauldron. I have no idea what they do. They're called Dynamax potions. I think they essentially are full restores from Pokemon. What floor is this? Fourth, okay. Is it the Forbidden Fourth or Third Floor Corridor? Do you remember, Henry? The third floor corridor. Okay, it is the third. That's what I thought. Oh, jeez. I hope I'm fully healed, by the way. Um, yes, I am. Okay. <laughs> that would have been bad. And I think the corridor's... It's a jar. Snake bar must already be in. Alright, so we'll save right here. Just in case. And we'll see you next time. No, we just started. 
Fluffy is crying. Do you see that? Why is he crying? Oh look, I played the, uh, what's it called? Flute? Oh, the pokey flute. I can't move. Uh-oh. Oh no, I have to fight the plant. <laughs> Cast fire. Yeah, I do have level 2 that fire spell, so I should be able to. Alright, let's do this! Um, where is it? Incendio Duo! Ooh, look at that, 99. Not bad. These little tentacles, though, are being a pain. Especially that one that just hit you for 69. Oh, here, I want to see what the... Oh, it doesn't tell you what it does. Okay. Well, I have 23 potions, so I should be okay. God, this is... Good thing I uh, grinded earlier. <laughs> I spent 20 minutes grinding against chickens that gave me 120 experience each. Why chickens? I don't know. Because... This isn't the Chamber of Secrets. You shouldn't be encountering chickens yet. Because for some reason Hagrid wanted me to kill chickens for uh, the dragon. Alright, well, it looks like this is gonna be a piece of cake. Alright, that's one tentacle down, two to go. And I think the big one was like the mama tentacle, so now I just have to kill the babies. Just remember. Alright. Shh, don't creep out the viewers, Henry. It likes you. Ew. <laughs> Ew. Ah, and there goes Henry. What are you off to do, Mr. Hen? Just dabbing on out? Come check out our uh, snuffs. Alright, he is clearly delusional. But, oh, Henry, I have something to ask you about later. So, um, after I'm done with this, I will ask you about it, okay? Does it have to do with the uh, casting of the Nope. Ah, that's so weak. Wow, that was easy. <laughs> Maybe I grinded too much. Oh, and look, I found optimum boots. And I leveled up. Hooray! Alright. Let's keep going, guys. Alright, I'm going to equip those boots real quick. Because may as well, you know? I think we're supposed to walk through the tentacles. Um, yeah, we can go here. Birds, thousands of them. Oh, we're, we're really doing the whole thing, aren't we? Yeah, and this is a mini game. Do you remember the Quidditch mini game? Yes, I'm actually really good at it. Take mine, throw me a beginner. Comet 260. Why does he have a Comet 260 with him? Okay, so which one is it? It's the silver one. Right. I just have to find it. No, quit hitting me. Ah. Okay. Remember, I flew it's the one with one. the broken wings. So it's that blue one. Oh my gosh, that red one just wrecked me. Okay, apparently it's not that blue one. Alright, I'm not used to doing this vertically. In the mini game, you're always going like side to side. Uh, uh, it's gotta be at the top, yeah. Oh no. No! Stop! Just remember, it's the one with the broken wings. Uh, it's gotta be at the top. Oh no! Stop! Oh my gosh, it's. Look at this! It's just knocking me down! Oh, this would be so impossible on a tiny Game Boy screen. You'd never be able to see it coming. Alright, um... Oh, I found it. Got it. <laughs> I like how you use the enemy hitting you. <laughs> right? I'm um, clever like that. I'm a clever gal. <laughs> oh, now it's time for chess. Clever Wizard's poker. chess. Actually, right here should be a Transfigurations thing, because that came before chess in the book. 
It's weird, because the continuity in this is, like, partially the book, partially the movie. Partially its own thing, but then the second game brings up and talks about how stupid it was, that they changed it. Alright, I wonder what spell does good against this guy. What do you think, Henry? Pick a spell. Ivana Kedavra. Flippendo, uh, Vermilius, Vertimilius, Incendio, uh, Wingardium Leviosa. It's against the chest piece, right? Yeah. I don't have that spell. I have mo locomotor wibbly. All that does is paralyze him so I can heal. Yeah, it's, it's locomotor wibbly. Um, yeah, don't I have a... Uh... Let's try Vertimilius. Nope, that's not it. Don't you have Flippendo? No. This doesn't use, like, any real spells. Flippendo. Oh, Flippendo. Okay, let's try it. Nope. Nope. That's clearly not it. So it's gotta be... Vermilius or Vermilion? Well, it wasn't Vermilius, so it's gotta be <laughs> Vermilius. Let's try it. Or it's gonna be yeah. Okay, it's not that one either. Um, it might be a spell that you just didn't pick up. No, they wouldn't do that. Would they? I don't they, think so. They might. Let's try uh, Incendio. Okay, it's not that either. What is it? Um... Um, Wingardium Leviosa. Wingardium Leviosa. Nope. It's too heavy to pick up. What's the very bottom? Um. Locomotor Montes. It's. Is it Locomotor Mortis? Yes, it is. Locomotor Mortis. Let's see what it does. Um. Oh, it turned him green. spells now and be okay? Nope, that does nothing. But it does paralyze him nicely. Um, now you just spam the people spell that you have. But it's probably gonna do zero. Hmm, I wonder how long he stays paralyzed for. Well, this one was the most effective. How do you beat this thing? There's gotta be something I'm missing, yeah? Alright, uh, I'm gonna try Incendio Uno. Because at this point I'm just kinda grasping its draws. Until something hits. You know, eventually something's got to. Uh, okay. Um. Incendio Duo, please. Please. Oh no, he's unfrozen too. Well, good thing I have a lot of pepper up potions. Alright, um. The Pendotria! Figure out what its weakness is. It's gotta have a weakness, right? Right? Um, I guess I just have to brute force it. At least it doesn't do that much to my health. Yeah, 
36, I can keep doing this for a while. If it ends up taking too long, I might cut around a bit. But it looks like it's gonna be okay, so I don't know. Either way, guys. Oh, that's only doing one. Either way, guys, strap in, because this is gonna be a long one. Who would have thought the chess pieces were the hardest enemy? Simply because I can't figure out any kind of weakness for them. Usually all these enemies have like one spell type that just does a lot to them. But apparently this guy just does not have that. So I don't know. Uh, locomotive Wibbly. Oh no, he's unfrozen. Um, oh, come to think of it, he is frozen for another turn. Oh, no he's not. Okay. Uh, never mind. Um, hmm. Incendio Duo, I suppose, since that seems to be the only thing that does anything against him. Yeah, look at that, a whole 12. Whoopee! Let's see what that potion does. I'm curious. I feel burst of energy. What the hell does that mean? Did it do anything? Did it like make my spells stronger? Maybe? I, I let's see. No. I don't think it did anything. What the hell? So apparently that did a whole lot of nothing. And all I have to do now is just chip away at his health bit by bit. At least it's not hard, it's just tedious. I don't remember these chess pieces being this hard though. I seem to remember like... Well, I guess they're not that hard, but like, I don't remember than being bullet sponges, for lack of a better term. I remember them being a lot easier to knock out. I'm gonna locomotive wibbly him so I can heal. Okay. And I'm pretty sure I heal after every battle, so I'm not gonna worry about topping myself off. Just have enough to fight. But seriously, how rude. He doesn't have a clear weakness at all. Though I suppose it is a bit of a blessing that I don't have to fight all three at once, because that would be a pain in the ass. Could you imagine? If you had to fight all three of these things at once, and they don't have... I wonder if, like, they all have a different weakness? Maybe Henry's right, I just don't have the weakness for this particular one. It's hard to say, really. Because there were a couple spells I didn't get the chance to learn. Which I regret. I know there was at least two spells when I was sneaking around the Forbidden section of the library that I just missed. It wasn't really my fault. I just couldn't seem to hit the activations right. I wonder if one more hit will do it. Let's find out, huh? Oh, come on. That's so weak. I guess I should have made more pepper-up potions instead of 
these Vitamax ones, because they do not do what I thought they did at all. In fact, they kind of suck. Of course, it could just be that these guys don't have a weakness, and this is just how you're supposed to fight them. I can't imagine that's true, but... I don't see any other answer, so that's gotta be it. Three of the enemies end up being the same as this, I don't intend to make you sit there and watch them all. So don't worry. Now I want to equip that new piece of armor. Alright, whatever. Alright, let's find out if he's going to be the same, or if he has a clear weakness. Oh boy, this isn't looking good right from the start. Okay, at least that does something. Um, what about Vertimilius? Which I never leveled up to Trio. Okay. So, Vermilius and Vertimilius don't do much. How about Incendio? Okay. Looks like it's gonna be the same. Alright, I'll cut back to you guys at the results screen of this match. I don't intend to make you watch this. So, BRB. Okay. And we're back. So that one was actually much easier than the last one. Oh, and Ron got himself killed by the Queen. Dang it, Ron, why would you do that? Well, now I get to fight the King, I guess. <laughs> Since my dear friend Ron is dead. But that last one went a lot like how I remember the other ones going. Not nearly as bad. I have a feeling, though, this one is probably going to suck, too, so... Oh. Oh, okay, this one might have a clear weakness, then. Let's find out. Oh, I think it might be that. I'm going to try a couple of the other spells, though, just to be sure. Vermilius Tria! No, it's definitely that one. Okay. Well, seeing as this battle is going to be yet another uh, battle of attrition between me and some of the, like, the bullet sponge this boss apparently is, um, I don't intend to make you watch it again, so I'll see you guys after this battle at the results screen. Good news, guys, I didn't even need to heal that time, and it was faster again, so, ha. Beat all the chess boys, poor Ron is dead on the floor. He'll be alright, but he's knocked out. Well, okay, at least he's not dead, I guess. We're just gonna leave his body behind, though, that's cool. I think I got a robe, yeah? Yeah, look at that. Aw, yeah. I'm getting strong. And just in case something goes wrong, you will save. Your <laughs> Pokemon got me in the practice of that. A troll! Oh. You. Look at that troll. Good thing it was defeated before we got here. I don't want to find another one of those. Hmm. So this is Snape's challenge. Select the right combination of cauldron and what? Ingredients to solve the potion challenge. 
push up or down to make your choice, push right to move to the next choice, push left to go back to change your mind. When you're happy, push the A button to confirm. Black marks your choice, indicates correct responses, the more the better. If you get the right cauldron and the right ingredients, you win the challenge. You have 12 chances. Ooh. Oh boy. Oh, I see. Okay. Now I see how this works. It's one of these things. So, basically, um, I guess that cauldron, um, okay, I got two things right, so let's try changing the last two things. Okay, I got nothing right, so let's try. Okay, I still have two things right. Um, this shouldn't be too hard, I don't think. I just have to figure out what this middle ingredient is. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> I figured it out. Alright, bye, Hermione. I guess I'm going ahead. <laughs> oh, no. I wanted to save. Oh, well. <laughs> I always thought it'd be Snape. <laughs> oh, oh, and he's like, oh, he hated your dad, too. But, uh, I hate you. Ooh. Ooh! We're about to get the big reveal, guys. in the mirror. The mirror of Ariz Arizad. Look at that sprite work! He it made the glasses blink. He lies. The stone is in his pocket. Creepy. And now final boss, guys. Simply epic. How did I get 5 HP off? You know what? I bet that's because of the um, one thing. because of the cloak I put on. Alright, so that's not as weak. You just have to figure out what Quirrell's weakness is. He seems to have the same spells as me, which is interesting. Maybe he has the max of all the spells. Okay, well that did some damage. Oh no, he poisoned me. Bastard. Oh, I see. It, like, cures me from poison? Interesting. Oh! Oh! Max level flame OP, please nerf. Oh, scary. Okay, that does nothing. Alright. And don't. Maybe I should freeze him. Yeah, that might be a good idea. Because he's doing some big damage, so let's, uh, let's Protificus Totalis him. Figure out what to do from there. Um, let's try and Cindio. Okay, that does some damage. That's how we're gonna hurt him. I like how Incendio is like the most OP spell. <laughs> we learn it pretty early in the game. But it does numbers against most enemies. At least most of the big enemies. Of course, that troll with his thick hide it did nothing to, but you know. Alright, I'm gonna freeze him again because I like being unfair. <laughs> Nothing like freezing the final boss and then hitting him while he can't retaliate. What a completely unfair strat. But it worked, so I'm not complaining. Oh my gosh. Well, I was afraid this was gonna be a lot harder, but... 
Like, I don't remember the final boss being super hard, but I also don't remember him being a complete pushover like this, so it's kind of amazing. Oh wow, he unfroze after one turn. Okay, I better just kill him. Because he's pretty close anyway. And I guarantee you nothing he casts on me is going to kill me. Ooh. He is the final version of that fire spell. But it doesn't matter because I have so much defense and HP that he just he can't kill me quickly enough. Yeah, see, I killed the final boss and it was really easy. <laughs> <coughs> oh, thanks for the Grand Wilgen Weld Potion. Way after I need it. But hey, I leveled up again. Oh. And there's Voldemort. Alright, let's let's voice his lines because it's fun. <clears throat> See what I've become unless someone lets me share their body. I have no substance, but once I make the elixir of life, I will create a new body of my own. So give me the stone, or die as your young parents did, begging. Liar! Oh. Second form of the boss, guys. All good final bosses have multiple forms. And this is proof. Oh no, it didn't reheal my health. Eh, it should be fine. Let's freeze him. Um, I am a little worried about my health, so I'll drink that. Okay, that brings me to full. Sendio Duo. Hope that's still his weakness, by the way. No, it's not. His weakness has changed. Okay. Is it Flipendo? Yes, it is. That does some numbers. Alright, let's keep hitting him with that. So, yeah, this final boss, um... You want to beat Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone for Game Boy Color? When you get to the final boss, it's Incendio on the Quirrell part, and then it's uh, Flipendo on the Voldemort part. Apparently he's weak to basic spells. Who would have guessed? Maybe that's why nobody could stop him in the canon, was because his weakness was weak spells. But everybody's like, oh, he's super powerful, so we have to use powerful spells. But they don't do anything. Hmm. I think I may have just figured out the continuity. I may have just solved it all, guys. And it reminds me of when I got the last Harry Potter book when I was in London, and I was thinking of potential spin-off ideas. And one of the things I thought of was uh, like this guy, like this kid who basically admired Voldemort and tried to like become him through some of his blood or whatever, and basically bring Voldemort back through himself. It was a weird idea, but, you know, I was a teenager. And he's been frozen this whole battle! All the almighty Voldemort can't stand up to Locomotor Mortis, I guess. Oh, he's not dead? Why isn't he dead? How much health does he have? Holy crap. There we go. <laughs> wow, I didn't even need to heal. Like, I could have gotten away without healing. <laughs> That's amazing. Oh, and then if you've seen the movie or read the books, you know this ending. So, you know. His father. What? Wait, wait, wait. Harry's father saved Snape? When was that? What, did he, like, put a good word into Dumbledore and be like, Yo, I know he was a Death Eater, but, uh, don't kill him, please. Or was it because... I don't know. When did that happen? I don't remember that. Alright, now I'm gonna have to go back and check through the continuity. Hufflepuff is in the lead. What? But... Is that how it is in the book? Because in the movie it's Slytherin. Ooh, 
50, 50, 110, yay! Look at all these points we're getting, guys. Hufflepuff can suck our dick. Get some, yeah! Yeah! Ugh. We won the house cup! Hoorah! Dumbledore gives you the best famous witches and wizards of all. The Harry Potter card? Ooh. Uh, what? Fuck you, Malfoy. <laughs> At least it wasn't Slytherin. Dude, look at this little cutscene! <laughs> this is awesome! I forgot that this was the ending. This is so great! Look at all this, look at all the people cheering in the crowd. <laughs> oh, this is great. This is a great game, guys. Seriously. Like, this was fun to play through again. Even if I didn't remember some of the spell. Oh look! They're throwing me in the air! Hooray! Yay, Harry Potter! The Gryffindor wins the House Cup. Could you imagine if Harry Potter never took off? Like, it didn't become a cultural phenomena, and this was like a one-off thing, and like no further games were ever made? Oh, I think it's credits time, guys! Is that what this is? Is this credits? Look at that lens flare! Yep, it's credits. Alright, cool. Alright guys, thank you very much for watching this uh, dramatic playthrough of Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone for Game Boy Color. I had a lot of fun playing it. And uh, if I've inspired you to, you know, find this game and emulate it or play it in some way, you know, go right ahead. It's a great game. And seeing as EA and Nintendo don't want to make this available through legitimate means, I don't have any problem if you want to emulate it. I'm not recommending that you do it, but if you do, I, it's not like they're going to be losing any money from it. So I don't feel that guilty about it. Of course, I would encourage you to buy a cart. I mean, they're only... I got mine on eBay for 10 bucks. Like, they're not expensive. And if you have a means to play it legit, that's of course the best way to do it. So... But yeah, thank you guys for watching. And thanks to Grip Tonight Games for putting this together. The credits were surprisingly short, I thought that would take longer. But now here's something I've wondered. Because after I beat the game uh, on my PSP, I think I lost the save. Something happened with that, I don't remember what exactly. So let's see what happens if we load the save file. Buy your wand at all of Anders. So we get a new game plus? I have to see this. So yeah, it loops back to the beginning. Interesting. Let's see if we keep all our spells. <gasps> no, we don't. We keep our stats, but we don't keep items or anything. That's interesting. Alright. Well, maybe sometime I'll do a new game plus on this save file. But I think for now, guys, uh, that's going to be it. Thanks for watching. I hope you had a good Harry Potter month. And I look forward to seeing you back next week for the continuation of the Jimmy Neutron Boy Genius Let's Play. You can't see, but I'm shaking the game case to Jimmy Neutron, so. Yeah, anyways, see you guys. Oh, bye bye